A law society hearing into allegations against Alberta's justice minister was supposed to wrap up today, but it's been adjourned without finishing. Tyler Shandro testified he felt sadness and disappointment about a social media post, and that's why he walked to a doctor's house to confront him. That doctor disputes Shandro's testimony and spoke to us about it. Jordan Canigan has more. It was almost three years ago, Alberta's then health minister saw a meme on social media and decided to confront the person who posted it. Crying, his eyes were uh, red, uh, tears running, and he, he, and he started saying, you can't do this to us. Uh, we are, and to some extent that we are getting death threats. The incident is one of three allegations against Tyler Shandro now being heard by a Law Society of Alberta panel. During testimony, Shandro talked about threats he and his family were facing around that time, and he argued the doctor's account. No, I was not crying. Obviously, I had emotions. Most of the emotions were disappointment and sadness from what a friend had done, Shandro told a group of lawyers. We were speaking loud enough to speak to someone who is two meters apart. I definitely was not yelling at him. Zaidi is sticking to his story. He was high in emotions. He was crying. His eyes were red. Tears were flowing. And that is, he, he can say whatever he wants, but that was his, his state. The Law Society panel will decide whether Shandro, who's a lawyer and still a member of the regulator, breached its code of conduct. Shandro has remained in cabinet ever since, though he testified he considered resigning many times. Having the Attorney General remain in the position of Attorney General uh, while he's being, um, uh, while he's the subject of a Law Society hearing is, uh, is, is deeply inappropriate. And Jordan joins us now with more. So, Jordan, why is the hearing now on pause? Well, Tara, quite simply, they ran out of time and had to adjourn. Uh, the Law Society panel had a number of issues they had to go in camera for to try to figure out behind the scenes, one of which was a tweet Dr. Zaidi posted today about speaking to us and about Tyler Shandro's testimony. Now, Shandro's testimony will have to continue at a later date. We're also expected to hear testimony from Shandro's wife, Andrea. Oh, a date for this hearing to resume hasn't been set, so we don't know yet if it will happen before or after May's election. Tara. Okay, Jordan, thank you.